Okay, and then Nick Boza is getting a lot of mixed reviews after video bombing Brock Purdy's Sunday Night Football postgame interview wearing a MAGA hat. When asked about it later on, his response was, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I think it's an important time. So Mace, I'm going to let you go first. What's your opinion on it? And then do you think he's going to face punishment for wearing the hat? It's, I think it's even amazing that you say is he going to face punishment just because he have on a hat that says MAGA? Realistically, every person should be able to view their beliefs. I mean, um, express their beliefs. You should be able to say what you believe long as it's not, you know, like damaging to other people in a, in a physical or, or sometimes spiritual way. But if he likes Trump, he should be able to wear that hat. No different than... If somebody was wearing a Kamala jersey, do you think people would say, was well, he going to face backlash for wearing a Kamala um, T-shirt or hat? I just think we're in a sensitive time where people tend to just champion what they believe and they don't allow other people to have their own voice. And I think even if I don't agree with something, we got to get back to allowing people to have their own voice, because if not, we're just creating a fake environment. Because I could like Trump, but that don't mean you have to like Trump. And that don't mean you're my enemy because you like Trump. And I think that's the maturity that we have to get to. Because if it came down to one or the other, of course, somebody is going to vote one or the other. But that shouldn't make us enemies. And I think right now people are allowing people's presidential um, preference to make them enemies. and And that's immature. I don't really think there's nothing new as far as what Mace just said, to be totally honest with you. This has been going on for years. Actually, before the internet, people used to keep their opinion to their cell phone who they voting for. Like, yeah. I'm not telling them, like, stat. I'm not telling niggas who I'm voting for. And no, what I'm saying this that I'm not even putting you on blast. I'm saying that's how niggas be rolling. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. It's like you can sit there, like the nigga Chris Rock made a joke years ago and he'd be like, yo. Who you voting for? And they be like, yo, man, you getting a little too personal. Like, yo, you, you, you're actually in my business now. But back to the topic, you know, my wife was sucking my dick last night and ate my ass and this, that, and that. They'll talk about all type of shit, but won't tell you who, they who they're you. voting for. That was actually at one particular time held sacred, and you wasn't supposed to say who you were voting for. But fast forward into what May said, it's in the era where you're absolutely right. You shouldn't be able to be not cool because you don't like one person and another person likes another person. Like right then, right now, two of my friends are going are, are really beefing. Like Jacob York and Duke the God are in a real <laughs> battle right now where they're angry. Jacob's laughing. Duke is mad at Jacob. They're beefing because they have two different opinions. And it's really like to the point where Duke says he can't answer for Jacob because Jacob stresses him out and he doesn't see the vision <laughs> on what's really going on in this country. So, and, it's, and it's bad. Like, I'm talking about really, Duke is really angry, like screaming. Oh, I'm like, yo, you got to relax. And that's the way it is. But to be totally honest with you, Democrats to me and Republicans are set up like gangs. One is blue, one is red. One don't like this, one's the left, one's the right. It's 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 set up to to me a political gang if you talk, if you mm. if you're at really axing or looking at the scenario. When you sit there and watch the election, they have it in blue and red. When the when the states are winning, oh it's a blue state, or oh, it's a red state. This this went blue, the Republicans won this is red. Like to me it's just set up that way anyway. But to Mason's point, I don't think we're going to get past it. I think people will get over it. But every four years when this comes around, people are going to get sensitive and have attitudes and don't understand why. And you're right. I have friends, there's Bloods and Crips, and they cool with each other. In real life, I'm talking about. And if they could be cool, (laughs) why can't? The Republicans and Democrats, no matter what Why you believe. Why can't that and the Republicans be cool? Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. But I'll be one, one thing for sure is that 
I'm going to stay away from it myself because it's, <laughs> it's too touchy. When you, when you say certain things about certain people, they get touchy, they get attitudes. And to be totally honest with you, instead of saying something uh, which you believe in and, and somebody be mad at you later, just be quiet until January because there'll be new shit to talk about. Right now, it is very, very sensitive. And because of the internet, it's more, um, what's the word? It's more magnified because people are actually giving their opinion. So now you have somebody like Taylor Swift saying, I watched the debate last night and after further review, I'm going with Kamala and that's my vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now all the Swifties be like, okay, that's what we got to do. Uh, is it Bosa? Yeah. Bosa comes out with a MAGA hat. Now Bosa fans be like, okay, that's what we do on Bosa. Okay, whatever the case is, but like May said, the face backlash behind it. If that's what you, if that's who you want to vote for, I don't even think it should be a discussion of backlash. That's who you want to vote for. Uh, but I think it's very, very sensitive right now. Not just because it's Trump, because to me, you could say Indian, you could say Jamaican, you say whatever. It's black against white, and they are right. They to me, people are like we gave y'all one nigga. All right, how many do y'all want? And people don't like it. I seen a bumper sticker murder. It said Obama. <laughs> then I had what Obama stood for. It said one big ass mistake, America. And I'm like, in a pickup truck with Confederate flags on it, driving through PA. I'm like, me get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know my stance. I don't really cave away, my personal opinion. But what I do think we need to do, if you mess with Trump, if, if you, I'm, like I said, I don't cave away. If you're a Trump fan and you're black and Trump doesn't win, somebody should make a card to say, I fuck with Trump because it might be civil war the way the niggas is acting. I'm not promoting that, but the governor <laughs> from Ohio said, if Trump don't win, we may need to have a civil war. And the whole crowd was like, yeah, yeah, that's what the fuck we need to do. So I don't wish this happens, but we don't know what people may do if Trump doesn't win. And if you fuck with Trump and you black, these niggas may be out with their pistols. You may need to just be like, nah, I'm one of y'all. And show your card. That's yeah. my opinion, because this shit could get rocky if it don't go Trump's way. Yeah, this is a very racial, um, <laughs> very racial election. And it seemed like it's, it's racist on both sides, though. I I, I would say that. Yeah, I, yes. I see people like, and I wouldn't say who I vote for, but they, I see people just simply like, I'm voting this way just because it's a woman, or I'm voting this way just because it's, a white guy or I'm voting this way just because she's black. I think all of it is racist. I don't think one side is better than the other side. I think they're both pretty much doing the same thing. What, one thing for sure though, out of all this shit, what I take from this shit every four years, even not, even when Trump, Trump may be one of the funniest niggas in the fucking world. I don't get, that nigga's hilarious. That nigga said Joe Biden's sleeping Camilla's at a dance party with Beyonce. <laughs> then what do black people do? I love black people too. We take that clip and turn it into a song and now everybody's on TikTok talking about dance party of Beyonce with your <laughs> voice in the background. You seen that, Zach? Yeah, I did. Dance party with Beyonce. <laughs> I said, we don't take nothing <laughs> serious, yo. I love that clip. But uh, yeah, we're in some sensitive times. I hope everybody's well and do your thing, man. Yeah, um, I'm going to say I'm just not a fan of people making their decisions based off of who endorses what. Because, I mean, we talked about Nick Boza. We talked about Taylor Swift. We talked about Beyonce. I just feel like if you're getting your information from your favorite person, that's just well, not the way to go. Yeah, like that's just unrealistic. <laughs> like you shouldn't be making those decisions based off of what somebody else says. Ultimately, that decision comes to you. And that's why I always say. Look at the policies that are important to you and make your decision that way. As far as Nick Boza, I mean, I think that there has to be kind of like it has to be fair on both ends, because I think ultimately I don't think that people like when athletes get involved with politics. And that's not for me to say that you can't do that, because, again, if that's something that you're 
very passionate about, you should be able to speak amongst that. But we've seen players over the years get fines for, you know, conveying personal messages or like doing acts that are important to them. So with the Nick Boza situation, wearing a MAGA hat behind Brock Purdy, it's like, if that's how he feels, I feel like he should be able to do that just like somebody else should be able to do the same thing. But there's no regulation for that mm -hmm. to say that this is OK and that's not OK. And that's kind of where it gets rocky. I do believe, though, if Nick Boza is going to wear the MAGA hat in your post game interview, what is allowed, you are allowed to talk about your political views. That was the time to do so. You said it's an important time. So if you're going to make a strong statement, stand by it. That was the exact time to be like, I'm voting for him because of this, this and that. So I think kind of stepping back out of that role doesn't really make sense to me. Stand for what you stand for. Speak on it if that's what you want to do. And if you don't, then don't do it. But if you're already going to have the action of, you know, wearing the paraphernalia, might as well stick to it. So that's my opinion on it. But again, election day is next week. Y'all make sure you vote. Um, Let me ask you something time. real quick, Stat. <laughs> yeah. He did that. He wore a hat. After, right after the game? Yeah. And then after the game, he said that this ain't the time to talk about it? Yeah, he specifically said, there, I'm not going right to talk too much about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the post-game interview, he said, I'm not going to talk much about it, but I think it's an important time. But when Brock Purdy was doing his interview, he was all like, so yeah. I was like, why don't you just stick to that? No, I dig that. So yeah. yeah 49 is Mike, but like, calm all that shit the <laughs> fuck down. Then go on your page with that shit, nigga. Maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, for him to do that in San Francisco is very bold. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go to break. When we return, we will talk about the cast for season two of Netflix's Starting Five. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> What you want, nigga? Everything, nigga, super size. Two Big Macs. Like when they doing them two for five.